Welcome to vlogger Francis Franz Franco Music Room, a vlogger just around the block in Taguig City. I'm so lucky to have this opportunity to be one of the very few souls to have ever visited his mini music museum. Shout out guys to our music vlogger, we recommend you check out his humble vlogs of nostalgic music from the 90s. The content of this vlog is to make a comparison between expensive and inexpensive electric guitars. Ano nga ba naman ang meron sa ibang gitara kung bakit sila ubod ng mahal? Practical nga ba? Baka naman overrated lamang. Out of this wonderful tour, I was inspired on my next vlog project. If you're the first time to watch one of my work, please do visit my channel and guaranteed, you'll not only learn but you'll also be entertained. So my dear viewers, stick with me and we'll both find out. In doing this guitar comparison vlog, I'll be using two almost identical Stratocaster electric guitars. We shall look into the build quality from the tuners, nuts, frets, fretboards, necks, pickups, knobs and switches, body and backplate, and lastly, the sound quality. I recommend they pause or rewind from time to time para they could really scrutinize for themselves yung looks and yung sound quality ng guitars. Not to worry, I really made this vlog na even as you as viewers can make your own personal take on every part of the guitar, whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. The two Stratocasters electric guitars that we shall be comparing is my barely 1 year old J-Craft Stratocaster and my 30 years old Fender Stratocaster. They differ in price by almost 10 times. Let's make our first comparison. Looking at the brand logo of J-Craft, it looks and feels like a transfer sticker. Ramdam mo yung umbok ng logo from the wood. My concern here is its lifespan. Baka kasi madaling mag-fade or magura. While for a brand logo ng Fender, just by the touch of your fingers, you can tell immediately that the logo is beneath the transparent coating na ginamit sa headstock. It gives me that assurance that it's more durable. Well, considering this is a 30-year-old guitar, the logo still looks really intact. Good tuners keep your strings in tune. So far, I had no issue with my J-Craft getting out of tune, though the material used is somewhat not so sturdy. And I'm even worried baka dito magal that this would become rusted so easily. I base that on how it sounds when I tap my nails on it, para bang hindi solid. For the fender, I can tell agad sa pagtap ko lang ng nails ko that the material was pretty solid. Now notice that one of the tuners has a missing plate cover, but still, we can't deny that for a 30-year-old na guitar, wala pa rin siyang sign of rusting. These stock tuners are made by Goto Japan, one of the famous brand makers of guitar tuners. Next is the truss rod axis where we adjust the bend of the neck and the string nut. Obviously, the truss rod axis is plainly a hole between the headstock and the neck, nothing special, while the nut is made of plain white material. I can't tell exactly what material is made of because uh, usually for budget-friendly guitars, it's usually made of plastic. What I like you guys to take notice is how deep the grooves of the nut. For guitar collectors, this is not a pretty sight. Moving on with the fender, you can see that the truss rod axis has a more complex design and construction. As for the nut, you can tell its shape and looks that it's more well-defined with better edges and curves. Also the grooves were just right. Usually not of higher quality are made of animal bones, but on this fender, I may have no way to verify if it's made of bone or not. Though for me, it really looks pretty good enough. Comparing the fret inlays and fret wires, the inlays look like plain black plastic that was glued in the fretboard, while the fret wires looks really humongous. Surely by the color it's not made of stainless steel material, and the edges are very rough looking. The manufacturer seems did not put much effort at least in smoothing it out. Going to the fender, the inlays are made of pearl dots that was precisely shaped and placed in the fretboards. You can also compare her with the fret wires looks very well made. It's stainless steel and not of Godzilla size.
The edges are far more smoother, even the markers on the side of the necks were really made with great effort. Let's examine the neck. Pardon me if I'll be using my Sun Diffuser 3000 to minimize the glare of the sun. I recommend you use this as well if you're going to make your, your own YouTube vlogs and I'll write the description below where you can purchase the equipment. Kidding aside, the fretboard is made of the same material as with the headstock and the neck all throughout. The manufacturer no longer complicated and just made it to serve in its purpose, a little less on the aesthetics. The type of wood is very important. Usually brittle and dry woods makes better sound resonance, so please listen as I tap on the wood and tell me what you think. Did it sound brittle enough for you? Fender has two separate wood used for the fretboard and the neck. The fretboard is made of dark rosewood while the neck and the headstock are made of aged maple. Again, I will tap on the wood and please listen if you find the sounds more brittle compared to the latter. For the overall body, J-Craft looks very nice. I believe the wood used is mahogany which is very abundant in Philippines. It may look a little different with the fender as this is using the HSS configuration which is two single coils and one humbucker. Fender body is as good as the J-Craft, though because it's using alder, some say it creates a better sound quality output. Also the weight is a little lighter, and if you look closely, you can actually see the grains of the wood within the paint. This is a minor comparison, but the back plate of both are both plastic, but even the quality of the plastic sounds really different. To some, it may be no big deal, but to me, uh, I think it's important because of course the quality of the plastic would of course give me the assurance that it's more durable and it can withstand more impact. Pickups are what really makes a big difference, but I won't be comparing the sound till the end of this video. Aesthetic-wise, it's good, especially if you're into the white accent guitars. On the Fender side, again, color preferences may differ from each person. Though you can notice that the pickup rods for the Fender are flat, unlike the J-Crab which has protruding on top. Okay, saddle bridge for the j -Graph was the biggest downside. Squeaking sound can be heard. While Fender was really smooth and buttery. Gosh, I'm even hearing the dogs and the cars outside but I don't hear any squeak. That's another point for the house of Fender. Another minor item is the tone knobs. Again. They are made of plastic but may differ in terms of plastic quality. Another interesting comparison is the pickup selector switch. It does what it's meant to do, though I noticed that with the J-Craft hardware it was sort of flimsy and has a play as it wiggles when it's being rocked side to side. But on the fender side, the switch was really sturdy. Despite it should have been worn out after all these years, there was a very minimal play. Very impressive, fender. So imagine that, it's already 30 years past, but still, the switch selector is working as it should be. Okay, before we begin for the final test of the sound quality, let me show to you guys the portable amplifier and multi-effects that I'll be using to do the last and final comparison of our guitars. The Vox Mini Rhythm 5 combined with the Neutrix guitar cables. As you hear me play, the quality sound difference of both guitars will vary to each viewers. Some may notice the differences in brightness and tone, and some may say it's pretty much the same.
Well, what's my take? If you got the budget, go for high-end vendor. But if you're little low on pocket, the tree crop is playable. In its respect, you must must buy within your budget. What is really important is still get all your daily fix of music and our passion for the love of the art. Thank you guys and see you again on my next videos. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. By the way, more, stick more until the end of this video. I got something really special and something really surprising in the end. So thank you guys. Again, watch until the end of this video. Thank you. See you again on my next vlog. Ciao! Wait, there's more. Don't push that button. As promised, there is a surprise for you. Just wait a little bit. One more, one more, a little bit more. And... Bow, I want you to know.